I do think as somebody born and raised on the East Coast, trained in Eastern institutions from my university undergraduate days to my graduate days, that the stories of American modernism are largely New York East Coast stories. And I know since I've moved in, out here to the West Coast, not only do I, does that come into relief for me in a very palpable way, but in on my own sense of ignorance, I know so much more about what's happened on the East Coast, including Sergeant Johnson's work being exhibited there in the 1930s, than I know about California and West Coast production. So it's an ongoing project for me to learn about the activities here, and I'm someone who's working and teaching students who are living in this side of the continent and should know more. It is not only the story of New York and how New York, which is my hometown, stole modernism from Paris, <laughs> in the title of that famous book by Serge Chabot. Yeah, and I know when I took history and art history, I just felt myself being very angry. Mm. So, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> you know, and then as a woman, of course, then yeah. I was angry again, yeah, yeah. and then as Not an many ethnic women. minority, I was very angry. So I want to know what kind of reading yes. or where to go Great. that you would recommend. Right, right. Also put this so on definitely here. our catalog, which is thinking about Sergeant Claude Johnson, and that's the name of the publication. Mm -hmm. Sergeant Claude Johnson thinks about him as someone living and working in California. Um, around uh, last year, I think, 2022, 2023, a publishing came, publishing came out called Art of California by Jenny Sorkin. And she is a professor at the University of California, Santa Barbara, who has the same concerns that I have, which is, why don't we know more about artists who live and work in California? And our colleague, Dr. Sorkin, has said, let us think more about this, especially those of us who are teaching in California colleges and universities. And certainly any of the publications that you see coming out of the Los Angeles County Museum, um, past and present, are really good sources mm -hmm. for California art. And any publications coming out of the upcoming Pacific Standard Time, the, most, the next iteration of that will open up in September. And what's so great about that project is all of the institutions, especially in Southern California, will be mining these questions about the history and contemporary practice of California artists. Okay, that's great.